something about this time just feels different. I don't know. I have ideas all the time, and I always think, oh, this is my greatest, you know? But something about this one just felt different the whole time. It's weird how the idea can just come to me, just come out of nowhere. Like, I have no idea where the idea came from, but one day I was just like, this is, I saw what I wanted in my head and it just came up. The only real hope is that it's not just like a, a fluke and I just, you know, <laughs> think I was on to something and I'm not really on to anything at all. I just, oh, I hope that that's not the case. I don't think it is, but you never know what could happen. You know? I, <laughs> but you know, I got a, I got a good feeling about this. I got a real good feeling about this. Let's get right into the video. Now, for the easy part. It was just a regular old day and I was just sitting at work getting tasks and whatnot done when I had the thought just pop into my mind out of nowhere. What if I paint a cool guy riding this bike with a samurai mask? <laughs> I then thought, I'm gonna need some references cause I've never painted a bike before and me old mental can't conjure up them kind of spells on its own just yet. <laughs> but I could use Mid Journey for references. So I created these three images using Mid Journey to use for reference and merged them all together. I then made a couple of tweaks in using Procreate and I mean, I just wanted to make it a little bit more mine and I wanted the mask to be a little more, you know, wild with it. I then exported the design to project on the glass canvas. Perceptions of breakthroughs can vary, so I'd like to clarify what I mean in relation to this painting. Many paintings evolve through stages like the ugly stage and the how do I even approach this stage with fluctuations between yo this looks dope and yeah, this shit looks whack. <laughs> and sometimes through these stages, we sometimes find ourselves in a flow state, a mental zone where creativity flows effortlessly, unhindered by distractions. This state becomes more accessible when we truly understand our process, not just in terms of like technical skill, but by our own personal style and the way we approach things, which can be very different. And working on this piece, I discovered the flow state more frequently than ever before. Despite being new to painting bikes, uh, like I'd never painted a bike before, like my process of observing shapes and values to materialize my vision became ingrained. I like just felt it. I particularly take a lot of pride in the way that I did the tires. Like I just, no, I, don't, I don't remember ever seeing how anybody else did tires the way that I just said, hey, doing it this way just works in my head. <laughs> And while I acknowledge I'm still far from my artistic aspirations in like any way, this painting feels like a significant step forward. It not only emboldened the flow state, but also kind of challenged my reliance on doing a lot of fan art, you know? Although I enjoy creating fan art, I realize it might stifle my exploration of original ideas. I envisioned a big-headed ninja with a samurai mask riding a bike and I brought that vision to life. Moving forward, I, I aim to focus less on so much like fan art and embrace the unconventional ideas swirling around in my head. Perhaps I'll indulge in one more fan art piece like a big-headed bland lady from Kung Fu Hustle. <laughs> Yo, I think that would be dope. But then I'll shift my focus. This painting felt distinct from the start, and I'm excited to see where this journey leads. I anticipate more breakthroughs, albeit rare. I remain committed to pursuing them every day and to have as many as I can. <laughs> So 
so like I was saying, approaching this thing really didn't have a lot of hurdles. Usually during this part, I'm usually talking about like, oh, this was challenging or I was thinking this when I did this. Like I said, it was just go time. The whole like painting, each part that I got to, I'm working on the jacket now. It wasn't a, let me look at this and make it a puffer jacket just like it is in the reference. It was, I want this to be a greenish tinted, more satin type of jacket more like more comfy i was thinking about like, what would i be wearing if i was right now you know there wasn't like a question in my mind it was just go there with it you know and that felt really good and i have a lot of goals to where i want to take stuff like this and so many just like ideas like pop in my head so i know i've seen like it, it's nothing new having like big heads on bodies and whatnot we, we've all seen that but this wasn't like influence from anybody consciously this type of style that i'm like like going for and want to like develop it there's so many influences to like everything that we do the way that we talk the way that we dress and like all of that stuff but it just feels like a place of like genuine discovery for me you know so i want to keep on like building on it like i was saying in the discussion part i think it would be cool to do the landlady from kung fu hustle and have her with like a big head you know i think that that would be cool too and then kind of just incorporate my stuff still in it like fabric or maybe it's more like stencil type design type work around it and whatnot I think that that like would be so cool and like I said I, I do want to do more stuff that is just me though you know even if I'm using like AI references we use references for stuff all the time and I'm not gonna beat myself too much up about using AI references because it's different when you look at the painting that I'm working on now and then you look at my references is you can see where things were influenced and all of that but i truly feel like it's something it's something by me and whatnot can y'all tell i'm trying to justify this shit i, I know I, I, I feel like a lot of people are already like chuck don't even worry about that shit you know let's you know the whole i can't even draw a stick figure shit but i don't know man artists are mean and like you know not all artists are mean but people are mean and you know what i'm saying i just want to make sure that i'm being 100 percent genuine myself <laughs> As I was painting this, I low-key felt like it looked like my homeboy Bobby Brown and shit that I used to work with. He actually commissioned the Malcolm X joint that I did. But like as I was painting, I was up there like, oh, this look like my boy Bobby Brown because he got the dreads and my boy Bobby liked to ride bikes and shit. So yo, Bobby, if you watch this video, hit me up and I'll put this joint on a t-shirt or some shit for you. <laughs> I think that'd be dope, you know. <laughs> like I said, you never know what could be influencing your art, you know, consciously or unconsciously. Maybe I just miss my homeboy Bobby. <laughs> I probably do, yo. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hit that motherfucker up. <laughs> I think it's cool to have something not look so sharp and on point. Well, speaking of AI, we're gonna get to a point where everything just looks so perfect and all of that. And I think that it's gonna be, it's, it's, it's somewhat charming to see that a wheel kind of goes into a spoke a little bit and, you know, and just like, you know, everything isn't super like straight and whatnot. Cause I feel like we're entering an age of AI is getting so much good at creating art and stuff like that that I think it's charming and I think it's cool to see the imperfections and just to know that a human did it a human felt good you making some art you felt the flow stage that like hey I can't feel that shit so I feel like it, it's I feel like it just has a little bit more meaning and I'm hoping that in the future I even get better and better and better and, and can still look back and still feel good about the charming little mistakes that I make because I don't think that I'll ever be perfect but like I'm saying that on a video where I'm up there like yeah Yo, I felt so good making this, but it's just a real shit, y'all. I think it's charming, and I think there's something there in having your mistakes show a little bit, not being so, you know, meticulous and particular and whatnot. But every artist's work is different. You know, I work how I work too. <laughs> I feel like I've rambled a whole lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the process of me making this. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping this thing on up. <laughs> 
Yo, thank you so much for coming out for another video. This video was so fun and this painting was a whole lot of fun. I liked the little part at the beginning where I'm kind of doing like a little skit. I thought that was kind of cool. So I think I want to explore more of that as well as this style of painting. I freaking love the way that this came out. Every new video, I drop something new at the merch store. So this video, we are dropping the Star Wars Geisha joints. So you can get your Mando or your Kylo Ren or your Stormtrooper Geisha hoodies or t-shirts or whatever you want, chuckleymedia.com and help me <laughs> get this business popping off so I could <laughs> do this for a living. Love you guys and thank you so much for coming out. I can't wait, like, God, so excited about what comes next. Ugh, yes, it's all gonna be good. I will catch y'all in the next time for some most sweet shit. Peace, love.